and welcome to Monsters of Roll. Uh, we are changing things up uh, this week. Uh, missing a couple players, so we get a chance to play a uh, one shot. Uh, we are using the. Oh, wait. We are using. Oh. <laughs> Complete Witch, uh, the definitive class. definitive class. That we figured out with rolling around. Uh, but it's a really fun class. Um, again, not really sure why we decided that uh, Witch Woman would be appropriate. So, but, uh, uh, yeah, Twitter just struck our fancy. So, uh, we have a couple guest players with us tonight. Uh, we'll introduce everybody in just a little bit here. Um, right, The scientific method would be to try just one new thing at a time. This isn't science, this is art. We're just doing a bunch of stuff and we're going to see So, with that, I have no idea if we're still streaming as we are. So I'm Chris, uh, and I will be the loyal officer. We all set? Mm -hmm. All right. It's nearing dusk when you arrive, worn and exhausted, warily tracking the flickering, lonesome campfire on the eastern ridge overlooking a small, dark valley already in shadow. The weary forest of old, Overgrown trees and tangled thorny brambles, choking the valley glows nearly silent in the impressive moon. The light of the sun blazes scarlet behind swirling storm clouds in the valley. Raging but impotent, cold either the storm or the night. Thunder rumbles across the hills, so close it feels like a valley. You arrive singly, but nearly simultaneously small campfire, and each of you immediately recognizes that aged crone sitting on her stool at the fire, at her top of the heat swung out over the fire, out of his name. She goes by the name of Agony Death, great-granddaughter of the legendary Tragedy Death. She is nearly as well known as her grandmother, as her great-grandmother, her reputation of being unflappable, candy, cautious, and not unkind, but those both within and without she beckons you closer without looking up, her roomy eyes staring somberly into the fire, and a small or nearly carved wooden crystal power glass over the dark sand spilling steadily into the empty lower chamber. Closer, children, I will. I thought there would be more of you, but as may be, perhaps not be enough, and time enough as needed in these old bones. Now, each of you already recognizes the others, having worked with and against each other in various roles throughout the year. Uh, but I'm going to ask each of you to introduce and briefly describe your characters to the audience. Uh, and after each intro, I'll give you each a sentence to do contact with the other people. Uh, Scott, if you wouldn't mind, through the flame. Yes, uh, the Keeper uh, is uh, human, or maybe once was, the appearance is... Uh, that of a burned corpse for the most part uh, blackened skin eyes on fire you can see actual fire licking up from the collar with the hood up burned hands I mean just a hot mess and slowly steps towards and they are uh, their flame is a uh, blue which signifies part of the coven they are part of the blue coven and they are one with magic and look to keep the balance in all things in the world. Keep of the flame. Not long ago, the other two members of your coven were wiped out by terrible racking illness, burning themselves out into embers and then they're not. Traced the threads of that dark illness here among the lonely hills. Alistair, somehow the two senior members of the Kingdom of Covenant destroyed, burnt out by whatever they brought back with them from some gathering of colonies. And you know the Keeper will destroy anything and anyone in this way to make sure no one else learns this. Catherine, if you want to remind me, it's New York. Yes, so Maple steps forward, uh, smelling faintly or strongly of gingerbread signifying their craft. Um, Mabel's hard to pin down visually as every once in a while 
hair color shifts from blonde to bright red to a shock of pink to whatever their whim seems to be facial features constantly moving shifting changing as changelings are wont to do um, never quite certain what you're going to get with maple their insanity is pretty clear so maple a few weeks ago two more senior members of your coven came down with a horrifying illness and despite all the honey tea and lemon drops you forced fed them they only got sicker and sicker until they finally shooed you out of the house. But not before your cracked perception caught a mental glimpse from the senior witch of an old, stale, moldy blackberry tart walking the dark hills and valleys north of the river of God. It's time to learn to stay away from you. You return the next morning to find their finely designed and exquisitely decorated houses in Campbell, taken apart in the terrible death throes. I am Alagasa. Uh, most people call me Gassi. I have dark skin and white hair. I'm a sky witch. I am a hermit um, because I have been cursed with the visions. So I can see into the future horrible deaths of my friends and family. Uh, some come to pass and some do not. And so I've been hiding out um, for a long time in my hermit hut. Gossie, it finally came true the visions you saw of your friends, two senior members of your coven, who have always been kind enough to keep half an eye on you in the wild. While still giving you the space and silence. You first noticed their erratic flying during a poetry reading you were giving a couple weeks ago. As they dove and swooped in the distance among the clouds, catching your words scattered and reformed, and patterns meant and unmeant by the great winds you had stopped for them. Over the following days, they became even more down, uncontrolled, ill it seemed. But they determinedly kept their distance from you, flying until they could fly no more. Until they finally tumbled to the ground, and you were left with a deadly, lonely silence. During those weeks, you began to detect a subtle and disconcerting pattern in the winds beginning to take shape, and you followed it, exploring the edges, until you finally determined that the pattern taking shape centered here above these hills. Back at the campfire, the chrome pulled the kettle closer, taking it off the hook and beginning to pour several cups of tea in delicate china cups. Well used, and each appearing to have been shattered at one point, but now pieced together again with some kind of silvery metal holding the rejoined jars together. You have all lost the rest of your covens, murdered with the death rattle sickness that Obsidian and her coven engineered and released at the last moot of elders. I understand that each of you have your own motivations for being here, but I offer you now a chance to stop what she is about to set in motion down there, at the heart of this dark place. Obsidian Hellfeather's black coven, the goblin, Jackie Lazarus, and the shadow elf that goes by the name of Midnight is sworn to help Obsidian break her bindings to this earth to transcend mortality, these troubles of flesh and blood, age and infirmities and endings, to obtain lichdom, everlasting undeath, everlasting hunger for pain and power, and an everlasting plague upon the living time. If you are willing, drink this tea and it will weave you into a new coven, a covenant with each other, of blood and will and shared insight, with the strength and endurance that brings you in the fight ahead, only to be undone by death. Yours, or perhaps mine, we will see how the magic unfolds. All you need do in the valley below is disturb either the corpse of Obsidian Hellfeather or the phylactery she plans on binding her eternal essence to, and the ritual will be broken. Her soul cast to the ethereal winds, lost and hopeless, unhomed and unneeded. You must act quickly, though. I've done what I can to keep events contained, but you have just over an hour. I want to she picks up and offers each of you a cup of tea. 
Maple will take. Yeah. <laughs> Take and drink. Yep. Take and drink. Um, and once the tea is gone, um, Naple will most likely <laughs> use her sweet tooth ability to turn the cup into candy and start eating it. Yeah. Fair. Yes. What kind of, what kind of candy? Uh, it's going to be like honeycomb. Like the, um, oh, what's it called? It's like the sponge sugar. No, it's the oh, sponge yeah, sugar yeah, with yeah, the yeah. with the chocolate around it. It's um, oh. mm. sea foam. Sea foam. It's definitely that. So it's yeah, very I don't know sweet. why I asked you because now I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get ready for that. <laughs> I should have had a bigger supper. Yes. <clears throat> I did have a daily bar. So. Um. Yeah. So you crunch into it and. She looks and, and then realizes who you are and doesn't say anything. <laughs> in fact, she just kind of takes an empty cup, slides an empty cup towards you if you wanted another one. Oh, yeah, she will definitely, <laughs> they will definitely take another one and now. <laughs> yeah, as the so, cup of tea is now probably boiling, just a shake <laughs> in the head watching. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, uh, you drink this down and as it's flowing, into your body, you feel power. You feel a connection to these other two. Uh, again, you've worked with and against each other over the years, uh, but there's you feel this tie forming between the three of you, uh, kind of a net. And you feel it, sort of feel the vestiges of power. Uh, if this is what you think it is, this is normally a big spell. This is a grand hex, but she is offering it to you. And you already feel it. So, for gaming purposes, you are all considered a coven. You have uh, access when we are within 30 feet of each other. You have access to some additional spells, uh, which I did provide all of you there and it's in the in that compendium. Um, the definitive one. The definitive compendium. It's the <laughs> definitive. One. Yes, that's an ongoing joke. Yes, which one? Which one? And which the woman? Definitive one. Yes. Which which woman? Yeah. <laughs> which woman? The, the definitive companion. Um, and in addition, you get as a group when you're within uh, thirty feet of another member of your coven, you have access to basically five group, five group uh, spell up. First level, second level, third level. When you use like say someone's in close contact with each other, you use a spell as a fourth level spell. That spell, that spell slot is no longer available to every, anyone until everyone in the group takes a long rest. Okay. So just keep that in mind. Um, at seventh level, you're not uh, leveled up enough to be able to know fifth level spells, but you can still use that fifth level spell slot to upcast a spell. Going up and flip wounds or something at a higher level. Okay. You can throw it out the Okay. All right. Right. Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> well done. Well done. Uh, <laughs> all right. Change the key. Poking at the fire. The stick. Looks at each of you. Unless I missed it. Uh, what direction? points towards the ridge that leads down into that bowl shaped valley. On a, on a ridge in a small valley, deeply wooded, thick, thick undergrowth. Keeper will then towards the towards the center of the, that valley. Keeper will look to look around and then the fire won't burn all night. Let's go. And turn and start walking that direction. I guess I'll follow the yellow brick road and <laughs> Maple will skip along behind the keeper uh, uh, Grassy will continue behind them trying to act like she's not with them um, and muttering little things about how they're twits and 
and things like that. Fair. <laughs> um, I would like to, uh, as we start walking just in that direction, uh, just a little moat of fire. I'm just going to kind of throw out, and that will be Ember. And Ember's going to fly up, and after a few moments, like fire embers normally do, it's going to disappear, going invisible. And I want Overwatch as we're traveling forward, kind of looking ahead, looking down over where we're going. So Ember is your which is familiar. Yep. Uh, I forgot to ask for that. Uh, oh, Catherine, sorry. what is... No, yes. that's perfect. I forget. Catherine, what is Maple's familiar? Uh, Maple's familiar <laughs> is a gingerbread cookie, <laughs> essentially. Of course it is. <laughs> Of course it is. <laughs> it's um so it it would be a a grep a little uh lizard creature with adorable giant ear wings like it's <laughs> it's a very interesting looking creature. However, because of Maple's gingerbread magic, um, Lolly, as she has dubbed this creature, um, is when motionless indistinguishable from an actual cookie so lolly usually is sitting in a pocket just kind of like a pocket square yes somewhere. just like a little <laughs> pocket square but it looks like maple has a gingerbread cookie just sort of sitting in this pocket like square <laughs> only every once in a while if you are paying attention will its tongue flicker out and just you know, lick its eye or lick like itself. scratch its ear. Yeah, it's just like a lick, a little bit of frosting off of its head. <laughs> but yes, so it is a gingerbread cookie. Uh, and Gassi? Uh, my familiar is an imp, and I just call him my little fiend. <laughs> What's his reaction when you call him my little fiend? It's dark chuckles. All right. Uh, just as a quick, uh, just as you all know each other, you all know Jackie Lazarus Tomb Bottom as well. Uh, that the goblin uh, is a drowned soul, crafty creature, with stringy green hair, and a dark hatred for most of the people he's ever encountered. Including the three of you, uh, <laughs> none of you know very much about Midnight, uh, the other member of this coven. That our Kai or Shadow Elf, a hollowed soul, and an empty shell, as far as any of you know or can tell. He or she works almost exclusively in the shadows and gray areas of even the world. Uh, so, very quickly. Get to the bridge and it becomes apparent. Heavily overgrown forest, very dense underbrush, thorns, and thorns. But a bit of searching from the campsite, with evidence of a dim, overgrown path winding its way down the ridge towards the center of this bowl. Okay. 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 Is that where we're supposed to go? I believe so. It's in the direction the, the crone pointed. Honey, which way but up? Uh. <laughs> Ember is not seeing anything within range. Uh, is Do you have uh, My Little Fiend up and running? My little fiend is just staying by me, and okay. we are just bitterly talking about everyone else. There's way too many people. We're just whispers. All right. Uh, as you are heading, following the trail, um, down, uh, Gossie, you will note, uh, as you delve deeper into the wood, you notice there's no wind, no breeze. In a small bowl shaped valley. Though far above you can see great swirling clouds, continue to rotate wildly around 
round. Those are good omens. <laughs> <laughs> ha, home. Uh, <laughs> I'll say hold back. Then it's a bit of a hitch. Then I'll tell them about what I what you just described. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I think we need to investigate before proceeding. Well, um, this is not natural. I'm not either. It's going, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a good chance that a lot of that kind of gesturing up probably has to do with the lichdom thing they might be trying to pull off within the next hour just saying we right. may not have the time to be as um prudent as we would in the other situations right the lich <laughs> i forgot but if we need a lead scout i volunteer maple <laughs> sure you're just so sweet. <laughs> oh, that's the point. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think Maybe. instead we should use my little fiend to go forward. I guess if you want to. All right. Time to fly. Are you sending the imp out invisible or? Yes, he okay. goes out invisible. <laughs> I didn't know if you bait or <laughs> an actual spell. <laughs> as you wind your way down the path, so 15, 20 minutes, uh, as you wind your way down the path, uh, you occasionally hear what seems to be the fluttering of wing. My little fiend hears this. Amber reports hearing, but not seeing anything. Further down the ridge you go, the more you hear more and more fluttering from behind and the sides. I would like you to roll me a perception. <gasps> first roll of the game. First roll, first roll, first roll. I'm going to use my rock candy dice. <laughs> <laughs> of course you have rock candy dice. <laughs> well, I'm going to use some Catherine dice. Oh, oh no. <laughs> uh... I don't know if this I is mean, the intended I did too. purpose. <laughs> I mean, 18. I did too. Oh. 18. 18. All right. Cassie? Excuse me. Maple? 10. 10? Mm hmm. 16. Maple's not. Should we not roll for our, uh, our familiars that are out there as hmm. well, or no? Um. Yeah, go go ahead. Catherine, if you want to have uh, Lolly roll too, just to see if Lolly picked up yeah, something. Yeah, Lolly would up from my pocket. Uh, With the big floppy ears. Wow. That is the exact same number, 18 for Ember as well. Okay. Um, Lolly got a natural 20, and I don't know Ooh. where their <laughs> character she is. Okay. I, why do I not have a character sheet for my crib? And 12. All right. All right. Between you all and your familiar, like this is <laughs> the listening squad, basically. So as you're going along, Delver, first you, you are all catching the occasional sight of a raven or a crow in the darkness as it moves from a perch to a trees. And as you move along, uh, through your various senses and extended senses, with prickling sensations, you sense eyes upon you and attention greater than you would have expected. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Most with the, the great perceptions you're getting, every once in a while you see that some of the birds pop their heads toward you. A few of them are missing their eyes entirely. Others are matted. Lovely. 
There are no croaks, no cawing, no noises in the deadly still forest until ahead of you. And it's about 30 minutes of travel, and you're finally getting down to the, the base of the ridge, the base of this. You can't be too far from the center of this small valley. Ahead of you, you hear a harsh communication of a scream. And from the sides, and the head from behind you, you hear the mimic sounds of more screams. And then one starts a noise at the point. And they're all moving big surprise for a long moment. Until the crying turns once again into a cacophony of screaming. I think we've been spotted. Clearly. I I'm not sure if this was meant to welcome or try to scare us off. I'm a little confused. I think it's both. Uh, can I just do a real quick, uh, as the cant, I can, as a, with six level or whatever, uh, do the cantrip to tech magic. And just around me is, do I see any magical auras, magical anything? Uh, yeah. Uh, each of these uh, for, uh, ravens are picked up and got uh, limbed in various uh, various types of picking up necromancy, picking up a tang of a conjuration. Uh, there's a little bit of enchantment mixed in with this, so these are mixed. Well, lovely. Uh, yeah, they, they are... <sighs> yeah, I'll just keep that to myself. It's not really helpful. <laughs> it's just, they are exactly what we thought. They, are looking, they look horrible. They're horrible. <laughs> so, pets all around. Mm. I think I'm going to send um, dancing lights up and have them kind of bring some light onto the trees and kind of showcase what the, the trees kind of like they kind of get in the crows or raven spaces. Yep. Uh, Does it surprise them? A few or? of them kind of like kind of give a little, they don't squawk, but a few of them like give a jump and flutter off to others. The ones with the others, like the ones that are bruised and battered and some of them eyeless. Don't even doesn't even face like wall up. They're ignoring it. And if you push one wall at them, they're just gonna rush at it. And they might shift over a little bit, but they're not doesn't seem to go out. Are your masters at home, or are you the calling committee? Otherwise, we're going to proceed forward. Uh, somewhere deep in the bracken, someone starts up the baby crying noises again. Lovely. So you have a buffet as well. We'll be there soon. The devils are here. Let's move quickly. Uh, you at the bottom of the ridge. Uh, as you're pushing through the trees, um, both My Little Fiend and Amber do report that there appears to be some type of clearing. So, kind of look at Gossi, I'm assuming kind of has the same information at the same time. Do we want to barge into the, the clearing? They're looking back at Maple. There's a clear. People is bobbing their head to the like they're enjoying a song. Never mind. Gossip. <laughs> <laughs> There's a clearing. Do we want to go in just brash or do we want to do a little subterfuge? I think we should try to encircle them. I yeah. think they know we're here already. Oh, absolutely. But we can make it harder for them to know exactly yeah. where we are. Mm. They've got eyes everywhere. <laughs> it's a 
good song. <laughs> oh, lovely. Um, as, I keep just as, looking at guy. <laughs> as uh, Naples, like, talking, like, every once in a while, one of the crows, like, will let out the shriek, and, yeah, like, like, it's almost in this weird rhythm with her cadence, <laughs> her voice. Like, whatever song she hears, like, they're picking up whatever song is in her head. It is, um, it, it, it's the Candyman. <laughs> Who can take a sunrise? I choose death. And I want to imagine that in shrieks and howls yes. and baby cries and crying and begging. Yeah, <laughs> I, I choose that. <laughs> uh, if you'd like to be a little bit more uh, stealthy, by all means, like she said, unfortunately, I don't think we can hide that. So you might as well at least be the distraction and just come along and <laughs> just start walking. <laughs> oh, uh, you yeah. want stealthy. I want to go unseen. I use my go unseen hex. Okay. Uh, so right. uh, my little fiend and I are invisible. Uh, Maple is going to change their appearance to look like the keeper. Stealth. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> like camouflage. Yeah. I'm going to say the fire changes from a blue to a red for just a hot second. <laughs> <laughs> as, because, as, as, uh, our, our, our DM uh, has pointed out there is another uh, thing inside of this head. The once maybe owner of this body. <laughs> yeah, there's a flicker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then perfect. They won't know what hit them. <laughs> Start moving toward. <laughs> All right. Ah. Uh. Another 10 minutes, so it's been about a half hour into this trek into the bowl of the valley. Uh, so we're at like 15 minutes already? Yeah. You're at, you're like, at 30 minutes into your hour. Oh, okay. We're at okay. Now we're at 30. Okay, just make sure. Now we're at 30. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Because otherwise, like, we need to pick this up and start <laughs> yeah. sprinting. Let's Cardio, go. everyone. <laughs> uh, the path widens out into uh, it's it's not a well traveled path, like overdrawn, tangled. It looks like a path. Or at least it used to be a path. A game trail, probably, at best. Maybe, yeah. at some point. <laughs> at best. Uh, so this path wides out to a marshy, damp clearing where you can see a low bridge barely clearing the murky pool of water that leads to a large, mostly flat outcrop of stone covered in moss and weeds. On top of the rock, a stark white marble altar, included pillars, fading in and out of sight behind a drifting veil of fog. Hmm. On the altar, there appears to be a twisted body in the pose. And on the ground around the altar, several bodies clump in dark pool. Okay. Two figures kneel among those bodies. Okay. Okay. Did we miss the Kool-Aid? <laughs> Any response from that? No. No. Okay. You'd have to be. Are, are you yelling this? I'm raising my voice. I'm. Okay. Where did the Where did the All distraction right. team? Ah. <laughs> uh, you see heads lift, and they start to get to their feet. Ooh. The one ah, starts sure. drawing a sword. Um, can I, uh, uh, now, am, how close am I? Uh, good question. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. <laughs> take a look. Right. Um, do I, I have a second? Like yeah. Do I have a second to cast mage armor on myself? Yes. I will do that. <laughs> I will do that. <laughs> I will touch my own forehead and from... The keeper would never do that. <laughs> no, the, <basically, laughs> the keeper's burned body sort of 
uh, burns away and Mabel is back. <gasps> ah, <laughs> sorry. But they're they're Shedding. now wearing what looks to be mm. like gosh, like peppermints around the chest and like <laughs> Just it's it's armor of candy. Any kind of candy that you can imagine, it's there. Like licorice whips kind of around everything. I don't know why I just Ooh. immediately got the idea of like a waffle cone dunked in chocolate and then sprinkles. <laughs> you know? <laughs> of like a breastplate made of that. <laughs> yeah. But then there's like peppermints up above and then like it's Everything. Yeah, it's bedazzled. It's bedazzled. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Sugar glittering over all of it. So sparkly. <laughs> yeah. We knew right. the undead and uh, bad things had glitter. <laughs> so you all enter, and this is where, all right, right, we're doing a one shot, so I didn't get too fancy with you. I have, love it. I'm with it. I love it. Uh, we have um, blue. This is a little Dracula. <laughs> blah, blah, blue. blah. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, we have, uh, let's see, Catherine, I believe Maple is orange. Sure. And if this is an orange. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, Gossie is orange. Uh, Fail. <laughs> Maple is black. Oh, there we go. Hey. And we don't have a way. So there's the three of you, and your familiars. Would you mind doing me a favor just yes. for this? Uh, yes. At least on my camera, would you flip me to white? Because my blue and her black look very oh, similar. Oh, they do look Good very point. similar. Yeah. Good point. Oh, yes, Maple is definitely in front. <laughs> you were supposed to remain looking like me. <laughs> oh, I need to adjust my seat. Too many things at once. There. All right. Does does the keeper say that to Maple? No, that was. <laughs> oh, okay. I was because if you did, I was gonna say, well, now oh. it looks like the keeper standing there in candy armor. <laughs> perfect. Now let's just make it perfect. That right. they won't tell. <laughs> that hit. And your familiars, wherever you would like your familiars to be. So let's see if I can get good enough perspective on this. So you enter Lolly. the clearing. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Wally would still be in the in the pocket square. The pocket. Marshy area. Okay, okay. Bridge, low bridge over murky water. Okay. Well, I want to send my little fiend over to the corpse. Okay. Let me get my... And here we have our two. You can see we've got a little Frankenstein <laughs> in green and a little gargoyle. Sorry, I, the, I use what I have. So. Hey, it works. I love this. All right. So you're sending my little fiend over to look at the court. You are orange, right? Yep. What's the movement? Um, well, and she was stealthy, so as we were the ones traipsing into it, sure. she would have been moving off to the side and quiet. Fine. Okay. Okay. Uh, from there, it appears to be an old lady, white hair, okay. legs are twisted, which which uh, tracks with everything you've known of, heard of, uh, uh, obsidian, all feather, uh, powerful, powerful black witch, but twisted, twisted always has had a twisted uh, body, uh, whether that's part of some sacrifice that she made for more power or some other reason nobody really knows. Uh, not the, the people who knew her well are dead. And that was before all of the senior members of your coven were killed. By this mm. death rattle. So, uh, 
Okay, all right. Uh, soup invisible. Yep. So I would say at least if we have that option, um, we would have gotten to like the bridge for raising voice and. Sure. Yep. They were, uh, yeah. Outside, yeah. And this is all water here. Uh, yes, here's we are. Particularly around here is really marshy. Does it look like there's uh, anything in the water or anything? Any creatures or anything living in the oh, water? It's really dark and murky. Mm -hmm. It's hard to tell. It's very still. Uh, Scott, where would Ember be? Uh, I would say Ember would probably be, uh, you know, roughly thirty feet up, and probably like from the other side of the bridge, uh, where like the, the corner post is. Sixty feet there. Back it up ten feet, like. Back it up, kitty corner towards the yeah, right there, and then like thirty feet up, like he's just kind of watching the in between. There. No, you were perfect. Yeah, oh. right in there. Yep. There. Just yeah. keeping an eye. No, just it's fine. <laughs> he has enough movement that it's just that area. He's just right. up in the air looking at everything. Okay. Uh, roll me some initiative. Would um. Out of curiosity, seeing as we had said that, would Gossie be have the option of being anywhere in that area, or she would like to be kind of hidden because she was being stealthy? Oh, yeah, I was thinking of going around the side and not um, crossing the bridge. Where would you want it to be? I'm orange. Woo! I'm moving. Maybe since we came that way, I'll be coming this way. All right. This area is really marshy, so it'd be mm -hmm. like challenging to move through. Oh, in that area. I just I kind okay. of cover as a sky wind. So. Okay. Nice. <laughs> All right. Uh, roll me initiative. I got At eight. 20. Eight. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, 16 again. 15. Mm -hmm. At 20. 20. You're on fire with your initiative rolls. On fire! <laughs> Literally. I mean, it's only but one, but... <laughs> no, that's your second. No, she rolled the nat 20. I, that was Lolly. Yeah, no. Oh. My my poor cookie familiar. It was <laughs> so, really yeah, so looking Lolly is, Lolly is on 20 as well? Mm-mm, mm-mm. Was I that supposed was to roll initiative role. for Lolly? Uh, we can have, if everybody's okay with it, we can yeah. just have uh, Familiars Act on your initiative. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, that that's fine. Because Lolly rolled bad, so that's okay. perfect. Yeah, right. She's basically a pet rock almost at this moment. <laughs> uh, as the one with the sword just starts moving towards the bridge, uh, Keeper, you have in it, you have the first initiative, followed by uh, I'm so bad guy, followed by Gossip. All right, so uh, they are not close enough for me to do the thing that I wanted to do, which was just to keep their weapons, you know, He's away. Uh, yeah, I was. That's what I was gonna do. I can't do it though. <clears throat> so yeah. I'm just going to, uh, you know, I'm gonna keep this conversation going. Um. Do I recognize those two figures? Uh, the Frankenstein there uh, yep. is, uh, <laughs> you think, Midnight, the Shadow. Okay. okay. The other uh, one, I have no idea. The other one is just in hoods and rags. Uh, appears to be Tiefling. Uh, and it's drawn a sword and is, and is moving forward. Perfect. Cool, 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 cool. Just very much like the bodies who are lying around this, on the ground around this. Hole. Perfect. Um, so from here, I'm just gonna keep things on the the, the relaxed. Uh, I'll take uh, the action. I'll just take the defensive action uh, or dodge. 
uh, but I'm just going to kind of shout across the gap. Midnight, is that you? It's hard to see you from here. Uh, if you'd come into our light, I'd be able to see. Who's that with you? I'm here to just to have a nice conversation. I heard of all the crazy things you're planning to do and just was hoping we could be part of it. Your nasty voice. Go away. <laughs> Here behind you, in the trees, the ravens appear to be fluttering their wings is, is growing louder in the, the uh, occasional screech and shriek and baby crying. They appear to be massing in the trees just on the edge of the square. Lovely. Uh, note to self, there are birds coming. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that is all for my turn uh, at this moment. Uh, just shouting out. Uh, if if anything, if I could respond to what you said, you know I can't do that. There's imbalance here, and you know I have to be part of balancing the, the tables. That's my turn. Okay. Uh, midnight is... Oh, no, yep. Uh, something is flying at you out of the trees. At who? At you, Keeper. Ah, lovely. I'm very hittable. <laughs> and yes. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm white. Excuse me. Oh, come on. These are my little, little moths. Are my, are my raven. Amazing. Uh, lots, lots of ravens. <laughs> uh, roll me a constitution save, please. Ooh. Oh, did it hit me? Or is it a spelly thingy? Uh, as these ravens are battering into you as they're flying past, you feel something try to steal. Roll me a constitution save. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, uh, that is a not a bad roll. A 16 total. I uh, you... Well, if something was trying to drag essence, bits and pieces of your life force away from you. Is this a spell or is this just a, a thing? A spell. A minor uh, life steal, which spell? Okay, I know that one. Okay. Fair, fair, fair. Uh, as that's happened. <laughs> Rude. Additional ravens, line, clocks. Towards you. All right. Uh, Gossi, it's your turn. All right. Um, a little some spell called lightning by saying, with the wrath of the sky's blades. And um, we'll see if it hits. So you're casting. I'm casting call lightning. On the island? Uh, yes. So it should affect both people there. Actually, all creatures. That is a third level spell? That is a third level spell. So as you're doing that, the knight glances your direction, flicks a finger, says no, and casts counter spell to cancel the call it. Um... I've done counterspell. What? It's been a while since I've done counterspell. It's 60 feet. That was the only thing I was doing. Oh. Wondering. Yes, it does not. He cannot. All right, go ahead. All right. Thanks, Scott. The only reason I said um is because I was about to counterspell a counterspell, and then I saw a 60 feet. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Do I, do I have to... Roll 1d20, or does it, it says each creature within five feet must make a dexterity saving so throw. They, they just they they, have to. They yeah. roll against your uh, spell monitor. Your spell monitor. 
14. One gets 17 damage. And one gets 26 damage. Ooh. Ah, nice. So this is you're calling lightning down out of the sky. And this is a, not a, this is a one shot. It's not a, it's not a concentration spell. Uh, it, is it, lasts, it lasts 10 minutes, up to 10 minutes. Up to 10 minutes, okay. It's casting time of one action? Yep. So on each of my turns until the spell ends, I can use it to call lightning in this way again. Targeting the same point or a different one. Alright. Yeah. Uh, the... Uh, slams down into the, the earth, and the um, cultist, like, he'd been raising his sword, and it just, and just, he's, like, just fried. He's still shuddering in the, on his toes, and collapses into a smoldering heap. Ooh, shocking. <laughs> <laughs> he's out of the fight. Uh, midnight takes uh, that and yeah and you can do about that oh. all right yeah takes the damage Still on his feet. Okay. Not happy. Okay. 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 Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, almost immediately. Sorry, Scott. I was waiting for you to you know, step in and see what happened. No, it's all right. No. <laughs> I'll be honest. I'm sitting here a lot of times already, trying not to add to what you described because I have my own thing in my head going like. Mm-hmm. Ah. <laughs> uh, Force of habits. <laughs> um, Heads poke up out of the water. I knew there was something in there. A barbershop mm. quartet? <laughs> hello, 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 hello. Hello, <laughs> hello. Hello. Darkness <laughs> happened. Uh, very clearly dead bodies. Right, we're familiar with the, the appearance of, of, of uh, bog mummies. Mm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Lovely visuals. Yes. Beautiful. So, it, it looks like they were coming from the deeper part of the pond Ooh. as they're stepping okay. up and forwards. And it clambers up onto the ground. Five, ten, twenty. 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, Is, no, right, what's your armor class? Is it, is it in a negative armor class? Do you have under no. 10? Okay. Does not, <laughs> can't connect with you. It's stumbling in that marshy wetland on the mm-hmm. side of the ground. Uh, as it takes a swing at you. And it is now the cultist's turn, and he just simply dies. <laughs> <laughs> a valiant effort. Yeah. 
pushes himself <laughs> up and just collapses in a smoldering heap. Uh, Maple, it is your turn. Yeah, so um, Midnight is still up over there, correct? Uh, yes. Although okay. Frankenstein, I the, Frankenstein I, fell I, over, <laughs> but yes. I put the okay. wrong one down. Oh, okay. Um, I just thought I shook the table. And that was my super sturdy Okay, so Mabel seeing all of these uh, bog mummies come up in, and knowing uh, time is of the essence, they're just going to dart across that bridge um, or attempt to. Uh, 30 feet we can go. So just straight across that bridge. Uh, you will be potentially taking an attack of opportunity from Bog Mummy yeah. that's right on top of you. Uh, it's going to take a swing at you. Ooh, that's a good swing. And what's your armor class with the mage armor? Uh, 15 currently. 15. Uh, does hit. Okay. Four. Cram into it. Four points of damage, please. Okay. You're going to make me do math here. <laughs> the math rock. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, right. we're going to run. 30 feet? Yep, 30 Five, feet. 10, 15, 20, 25, and there is no bridge. Oh, no. Awesome. So we're just struggling Splish through. Splish splash. Sugar melts. So is that all the no. further I can get? <laughs> uh, uh, 15, 20. So you were 30. You basically land and you, you, uh, uh, roll me a dexterity save. Oh my. Oh no. Oh, that's not too bad. Dexterity. Oh, oh gosh, 12. Uh, you do manage to, to land on your feet and not go under. <laughs> oh, good. Hey, the bridge is out. Um, she's going to yell. <laughs> They're trying to cross. Um, and that is that all the further that I, that I get across? Uh, I'll let you... Swamp ahead another. Uh, let's see. Are you dashing? Uh, no, I wasn't. I just. Okay. Uh, and I you, don't you, remember exactly where I was. You try to dash it. now if you would like. However, uh, it's no. Like say, do a strength savings throw. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Uh, oh, that's, that's actually pretty darn good. Uh, 18 minus 1, so 17. Uh, well done. Something tried to grab onto your leg. Ew! <laughs> Do you shriek? <laughs> yes. Okay, just seeing if that was uh, an actual... <laughs> yeah. Ew! <laughs> so, um, and let's see here. It starts to wrap itself around your leg, and you manage to pull and yank free. Okay. Um... It's it's a little hard for me to see because I'm on a, a tinier screen sure. than I'm, I'm used to. Am I roughly 60 feet from midnight? Ooh, good question. <laughs> oh, it'd be really close. Be right on, like right within that 60 feet. <laughs> Perfect. I'm going to cast Candy Blast. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's the is... Candy Man. Yes. So... <laughs> Let me go back to where it's at here. Um, <laughs> so I, I just kind of make some motions with my hands that basically mean nothing. She's they're, they're just, you know, um, and go like this. And from their fingertips, just like gumdrops, just, okay. just kind of like a machine gun, just pelt. Just like the butcher from Word Girl. <laughs> it is. It is. Um, <laughs> So you summon a handful. It, it, so they're gumdrops, but they're super stale because they're hard. <laughs> oh, um, <laughs> um, and hurl them at a target. You can see within range. Uh, I have to make a range spell attack, hopefully, to do this. Um, sweet, sweet, And this sweet. is a what level spell? 
Um, it's, it's a cantrip. It's just a cantrip. Can trip? Yes. Uh, um, as you're doing your thing, midnight says no. There, I'll, I'll use my no here. No. <laughs> yes, Scott. I was curious yep. because these are different familiars than normal familiar familiars. Mm -hmm. The rules are a little different. Because my familiar is in, within 60 feet and I didn't really do much, can I use my reaction to count, cast counterspell through yes. my familiar right now? Yep. Yeah. Oh, right, wow. yeah. I will now counter her counterspell right. and basically over as all the stuff's in front of me and see the candy blast and just be looking like, really? And then see her start to, no, 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 this will pass. <laughs> well done. Yes. Oh my goodness. So counter spell. Counter spell. <laughs> For a cantrip. Counter the counter spell. Yes. I'm so excited because I rolled a natural 20. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. That uh, does a, <laughs> worthwhile then. Does a 26 hit midnight? <laughs> yes, a 26 hits midnight. Um, double so, dice, double dice. Yes. So, okay. And since it's a cantrip and I am a level seven, that's actually, it goes up. I'm, you Doubles. Guys, yeah. What is this? Yes. So instead of 1d8, it's 2d8. So 4d8. So do I roll the four or do I take the two and double it? How would you like me to roll do that? Roll the extra dice. Yeah, roll the okay. It's fun to have more dice. dice. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ooh, oh, that's pretty good. Okay, seven. Seventeen. Um, Seventeen damage. Ooh. <laughs> From being pelted with candy, um, hopefully getting a little sugar in the eyes. Um, <laughs> And then also, um, so it's edible. You can eat it. It's no nutritional value. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> so the I'm space, joking, but it's delicious. <laughs> the, the space that they're standing in, that Midnight is standing in, um, up to a five-foot square, is now difficult terrain until a creature uses an action to gather up the fallen candy. That's awesome. Yeah, five-foot yeah. square, so... Like I think just, just, where, just where they're, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just where they're. Yeah, they, you can see kind of slips the little drops as you're, you're, you're the, the uh, jawbreakers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Slips and slides a little bit as just standing there trying to catch its bounces, getting <laughs> slammed in the face. It's a scene of Home Alone or, you know, something. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair. Alistair, if they kill. Everyone, that secret is gone. If they kill everyone, or if, if we, if so we, if they, I'm not sure where Alistair is. If they kill everyone out of the Black Coven, the secret of the death rattle illness is gone. And I need that. <laughs> I mean, or do I? <clears throat> okay, okay. Just for clarification, because yeah. I was confused, but we were in the introduction. Can you retell me the thing? Because I think I'm thinking of it differently. Because I think from his point of view, that would be a good thing for that sickness to be... No, it's a bad thing, because I want to use it. That's why. All right. Fair. There we go. There we go. All right. I'm on board. We can still make or, this work. Or not do it. However you want to do it. No, I got it. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Uh, initiative. Ravens are hitting. All right. Uh, I thought they were after me because they hit me after my turn last time because I did dodge. Great, they get extra. <laughs> Damn. There are a lot of them. <laughs> I know. I don't want is, them all to go. It is a lot. I'm so hittable. That's why I'm worried. <laughs> I'm like a ah. magnet. <laughs> oh, but they are just discombobulated around themselves. It's not great. I'm not rolling Catherine Dice, so. No, I'm keep good. that up. No, keep it's it up. fine. It's fine. <laughs> top of you. All right. <laughs> uh, let's see. My fan up. Yes, that's a hit. You said you have an armor class of 17? 
Uh, 15. 15, yes. Yeah. A hit for four points of damage on Mabel. How? Yeah. Those. Hi. That's not very nice. And Gossy. Gossy, what's your armor class again, please? 13. A hit. Or nine points of damage. Uh, these move a little further, extra further. Yeah, you can make an opportunity attack if you wish to swing at them a little bit. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna swing Go at them it. with my my candy cane dagger. It's ridiculous. Sharpened into a very fine. It's, yeah, point. you know when you suck the end of the the candy yes. cane. Candy cane shiv, it's wonderful. Um, and hang on, I got. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, fourteen. Does fourteen hit them? Fourteen hits. Yes. Sweet. That's a little baby dagger. Oh, miss some damage. Yeah, yeah. Private dagger. A little baby dagger. Uh, two, three, <laughs> three points. <laughs> three sweet, sweet points. <laughs> Dagger. All right. Uh, same here. Uh, Gossy, these have flown around past. You want to make an opportunity attack on against those as a reaction. Uh, can I call lightning as part of that? Uh, only as your action. Unless you have a uh, work master. If not, that would be. Okay. So, swing there or kick out. So, it has to be. Melee or. Uh, oh, not to be that guy, uh, but Gossi, if you took damage, you got to make a concentration save because call lightning is concentration. Uh, oh, oh, okay. yeah, Sorry. Thank you. So let's see. Remind me again. It's three plus. Uh, if it's if it's under ten, because it's whatever the damage is yep. in half nine. is the DC or ten. So you have to roll a ten or higher if the d damage is that low. Thanks, Scott. Natural twenty. Nice. Thanks, Scott. Yep. No problem. All right. Are you swinging at him? Uh, I hit. Yes, I will swing uh, my whip. Five. Add it. Take the whip loose. Mm -hmm. Cracking at him. Yep. Fourteen. Hits. Three. Damage. All right. Zombie's turn. Zombie right turn. Oh, they're moving again. That's right. Uh, let's see. Number one's taking an attack. No, that's not right. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I haven't had a chance to yeah. try to do anything yeah. to these zombies that came out of the water. <laughs> I put them on the rock spot and issue. They would do their thing now. Okay, keeper, top of the order. Hi. Um, all right. Um, just taking in the perspective uh, of everything going on, uh, I feel like uh, my coven member, Gossi, might be in trouble here shortly. Um, I'm going to have... Uh, uh, with Ember is just going to fly... Uh, I don't know I, how do you do. Basically, I want to go forty feet as close to Gossy as possible, straight across, or however. Perfect, within range, uh, except thirty feet up. So, uh, however, I could have angled, angled that. Down. Probably, yeah, do, yeah sure. Um, all right, then I can do it this turn, even because that's within five feet. Perfect. Um, so. Um, 
I'm going to use my bonus action and shriek. Use my hex shriek, which uh, basically just the fire billows up and just burning, crackling sound, blue fire, making it uncomfortably hot. Uh, and everybody within five feet of me is pushed back five feet. That's just a thing. There's no DC. There's no nothing. They no. Oh, I'm white. I'm white. I'm white. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you're. Oh, you, I'm white. Within you, yeah. you're casting yeah, that. There not, are things all around me. Not, not. Right. Amber. We haven't got Amber there yet. Moved. We haven't okay, got yeah. there yet. <laughs> I haven't all the. Yep. Yeah. Uh, nope. The other, I because uh, it goes away, not to the side. So that flock of birds has to go straight to the right, from my angle. No, because he was up Sorry. one. That's the. It's so hard to give direction. Push away, because it was right next to the other one, so they should both go further away from me. Oh, just as straight, possible. Back. Yeah. straight back. Straight back. Yes. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, because it's push. Yeah. Uh, so lovely. No longer in uh, reaction zone. Yeah. Uh, I am going to scamper uh, thirty <laughs> feet as far away from them as possible. <laughs> so this area here is still marshy. You can kind of cut around if you want. Yeah, go, go, just go. Okay. From the camera angle I have, let's go yep. diagonally like southwest. 30 feet. Yeah, somewhere just right on the edge of the screen, wherever it's convenient. Just there. further, yep, further away from danger. Yeah. Lovely. Then I'm going to use my action to cast a spell through my lovely little ember. And uh, I'm going to shout, Gossi, if you're uncomfortable with heights, now's not the time to think about it. And Ember's going to just grab and like brighten up. All of a sudden, this little burning little fairy fire is just going to appear in front of you, light up bright, and just ram into you. And all of a sudden, you can now fly because I'm casting fly on you. Nice, <laughs> nice. Um, I like it last, as a sky uh, witch. <laughs> you're welcome. Uh, but you're getting surrounded, and I am really good at buffing and helping with that type of thing. Uh, so that's a third level spell I used for that. And that was my action, my bonus, and my movement. And then, uh, uh, Looking at all the horrible things, I'll just go boogity boogity boogie and hope they don't come near me. <laughs> so hittable. <laughs> I'm <All right>. fragile. <laughs> or as the Italians say, fragile. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, you have a movement midnight. of 60 flying, by the way, Gossie. Okay. Oh, midnight is going to. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, and then as the end of uh, my Ember's turn, it's going to go back invisible. <laughs> yeah. Just an FYI. <laughs> yeah. uh, midnight, slipping, sliding on the this pile of hard gum traps that have also materialized. You hear a muffled curse and disappears. Um, let's see. Am I on a wall? Close enough to counter spell that? Within sixty uh, feet. I'm totally within sixty feet. Or you are within sixty feet? Yes. And let me double check something here. Uh, mm -hmm. Whoa. I done broke it. Hey, Scott, was your counter spell part of our coven? Nope, that was all me. Was your, okay. Yep, I was just using me. I wasn't within 30 feet of uh, Maple anyway at that moment. I thought about that, but it was just me. Maple is I think we should all make a point of, like, if we're using a coven spell, yeah. we should say that. <laughs> okay. Maple, is this a coven spell? No, no. no. Okay. We have place. to be within 30 feet of each other to be able to access. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yep. <laughs> Maple forgot that. So basically, just remember, 
when we need to use it. When our powers combine, we summon <laughs> Captain, Captain Planet. Planet. <laughs> so that, that's how we use Coven spells. <laughs> what he's casting is Misty Step, just a vocal component as a bonus action. Mm-hmm. Roll me a perception check just to see if you notice his lips move. Okay. Uh, probably not. I think that's a... Where is my perception? Hello? 12. Yes, you do see his lips moving. Okay. Yes, you can counterspell it. Your lips are moving. <laughs> <laughs> is that the counterspell? Like, your lips are Yeah, lips are <laughs> So, slipping. Your muttered curse starts to fade away and then just gets wrenched back into... into uh, Place. You're not finished. Okay. Does not <laughs> slide, <laughs> slides a little bit more. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh Mars a word. The ravens come in. And Roy, they're trying something. This roiling black energy. Ooh. It's just surrounding them. Reaches for you. Oh. That's a hit. Oh no. Um. Do your life force. This is a. Uh, Click wounds. Ooh, okay. You've been hit with this before. Uh, that would be. 20 points of damage. Oh, oh my no. goodness. Oh no. <laughs> Um, let me look something up really quick. I don't think that I have. Oh, no, I already used my, never mind. I already used my thing. Okay. 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 Ow! That really hurt, Charlie. <laughs> it's still hurting. All right. Gossie, it's your turn. You are flying now. Yes. Oh, excellent. excellent. I like your tower. I elevated myself. I'm going to fly away this way, and then I'm going to call the lightning again. Okay. So, with the wrath of the sky's blades. And does it just automatically hit them now? Now that they failed, or do they get another save? They get a save yes. every time. You save every time? Mm-hmm. Yep, she doesn't have to... Oh, wait. Did yeah, yeah, so basically every time they get to make the dexterity save because her spell just gets to maintain, but she has to use the action to activate it. Has to be a what? Eight plus your proficiency plus your uh, casting. Fourteen. Mm-hmm. And a dexterity does not. As he's sliding on the, the gumdrops, slams another bolt of lightning for how much damage? Damage. Slams down and just pummels him into the gumdrops. And there's a smoking <laughs> body amongst the smoking gumdrop. Oh, like it's just no. coagulating, sugary mess. Like they're not hard anymore. <laughs> but they're like, this lava. Just yes. know that that smoking mess has to be just burning. Not a sound is coming. Alistair. Yep. Thumbs down. All right. Yep, I, I haven't. Cassie, anything further you do with your movement action or bonus or your movement or bonus actions or reactions? Uh, uh maybe I will try to get to the body. Uh, let's see. Uh, and with, I'll yeah, go. Uh, <laughs> Just 
turn. Five, ten, fifteen. Just kind of stumbles into the five, ten. Just kind of stumbles through the swamp into the into the water. Ten, fifteen, twenty. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Just to me, Lolly is with you. They're, they're dashing. That's they're getting up in your face. Sorry, you can't see. Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, yep. It's me. Oh, again. Sorry, not their turn. Back off. Not their turn. <laughs> Though I don't think the zombies right there got a turn. I pushed them back, and they never came towards me. So if we're about to be at the top of the initiative, they never did anything. Not that I want to be here. You're not quite at the top of the initiative. No. Okay. I may have gotten the initiative message. Uh, hey, in there, man. Yep. <laughs> Maple. Okay. Uh, midnight is dead? Appears to be. Yes. Okay. Okay. He's, he's marinating in a batch of mm. hot sugar. That looks what tasty. round are we in right now? Second? Third. Oh, third. Second. Um, Sorry, I should be Let's just say third. Nope, third it's time. okay. Yeah. Let's see here. Can I, can I get up to the body with my movement? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. No. Get you there. <laughs> Dang an it. It's, it's, like it's mucky, mucky. Just sucking Ray. at your... Oh, shoot. Are those... Those ravens are still next to me? Yeah. Uh, yeah, you're kind of wading through them. Do... Uh, if I move through them, do I... Is it an opportunity attack? Potentially, yes. Okay. I don't want to do that, then. Okay. I want to um, cast Sword Burst. Okay. Which is... A can it's a cantrip. Yet again. <laughs> candy cane. Um, well, the candy cantrip. Uh, sword Burst. Where are we? Let me look at this spell. You see. Um, let's see here. Um, so I create a, mom a momentary circle of spectral, well, spectral candy. It's going to be like hard candy, um, like little bits of that, like crystalline, uh, like rock candies, mm -hmm. uh, slivers of like peanut brittle, things like that, um, that sweep around. And so all creatures within five feet of me, they have to succeed on the dexterity saving throw. Okay. Um, and that would be 14 is the spell save. Uh, they do. Ah. Well, then nothing happens. <laughs> I'm just surrounded by candy. A little distracted as <laughs> they're trying to eat whatever's flinging at them. <laughs> This appears to be a large batch of the undead ones that like, they're just a little desensitized. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, action. Yeah. You can try to move around them, I guess. Kind of yeah, staying with them. Well, well. Uh, gosh. There's also, right, there may also be that thing that tried to grab you somewhere in here. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Well, that didn't work, so she's going to try and get away. So I will try and take that movement, the 30 feet. Oh, man. Oh, man. i got to get out of here. Whether you go through or you go around, if you leave their threat True. area, there's that possibility. Yeah. So yeah. you're just going to, wading through them, you're not quite out of their range yet. So right. Be fought through to the edge of them. Okay, okay. I mean, either way, I'm going to have to... I'm gonna no. I'm gonna try and go. I'm gonna try and go as far as I can. Okay. That's a terrible Pushing idea. Pushing through them. Yeah. All right. So you're yeah. letting them take a couple free hits as you scramble for those last few feet. Yeah, that's a terrible idea. Okay. Uh, armor class with the. Fifteen. You managed like several of them bounce and glance off of the ah. mage armor as you scramble and get to the the other dock. Luckily this one appears this wooden slat appears to be real. Oh gosh. And you can start pulling yourself up onto that dock. I yeah, I'm gonna do that. All of it. <laughs> All of that. All right. 
Ravens. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Dang they're it. actually like, stumbling around. A handful of them keep flying at you, but half of them, a couple of them just disappear out of this, these flocks that were all flopping around. Okay. Okay. Some of them just disappear. Uh, others just kind of shit. You see, kind of give a shake and just kind of arrow off into the woods. But there are still about half of the flock uh, okay. is still intact and is will be moving. Uh, Earthquake! Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't me, I swear! Five, ten, they're still pursuing you. Of course Five, they are. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-five, attacking. Oh, my. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. 40, 45, 50. Uh, they're going to keep going. They get up by you, but they're kind of out of movement. They're just swirling around you, Gossie. Uh, the ones that are right behind you, Maple, are kind of, they are at half strength. Uh, missing you, but again, more just kind of bouncing off of, off of your armor. Uh, right? You manage to stomp on one as you're kind of scrambling up onto the onto the uh, bridge, although it seems to kind of pick itself back right up again. Uh, and... Uh, use, use one of them like a claw hammer, just to beat yeah, it into go. the wood. <laughs> <and pull. laughs> Keeper, armor class. <laughs> so low. Oh, no. uh, 12. Right. It's so low. Uh, four points of damage as they yeah, swarm Steph over you. These will hurt me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it blows the fire. <laughs> hey, Vince. Uh, okay, now the zombies, the bog zombies, bog mummies. No. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, It's good that I don't 30, know where they're going. 10, they're going 15, off camera. 25, sorry. No, don't. No, don't no, show me. Don't show me. <laughs> they can get to you. Oh, no. get it was you comforting not knowing. <laughs> I got a new camera stand here, so I'm playing right again. Scientific method, one thing at a time. We're yeah. not doing hey, that. I'm loving this. I just 15, am not 20. unhappy you're showing me. <laughs> 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Just swamping out into the. Theater into the of the boat. Mind had me strategically backing up as they slowly <laughs> approached, <laughs> not being, being hoarded. Ah. <laughs> uh, Keeper, you are up. Oh, <laughs> lovely. Hello, everyone. Undead ravens, undead bog zombies. Just another day. Yeah. They uh, reek. All of them reek really bad. Yeah. Oh, it smells delicious. The bog zombies in particular. Yeah, no, it's all right. They're a little moist. I can dry them out. Um, I'm going to look at all of them uh, and be... <sighs> You know, this character was so much more serious in my head. <laughs> I gotta be honest, as this has gone on. Uh, so I'm just going to look at them and be like, oh, black mold is a problem. You should really dry out. And I'm going to point over the head and be like, right there. You should see. Look right there. And because uh, it has a range of 20, and I want to strategically place it just perfectly at an arc. Uh, and so to do that, I'm going, oh, that's right. I gotta, I gotta take a thing. I think, I think I gotta do a thing. If I push them all. Nope. There's no way to do it unless I take a thing. Oh, by the way, uh, you cast fly on Gossi. Can you roll me a constitution save, please? Oh yeah. I just have to go above a ten, oh my goodness. 15. Yeah. So I'm good. Whew. I took four damage. Thank you. Uh, no. Um, all right. This sucks. But it's the only way it's going to work. So, opportunity attack from, uh, looks like, Zombie 4 as I back up south. One square right now. There? Oh my yep, God. south. Sure. So, five feet. Well, I just see the four on that uh, zombie's uh, little pit Yep, that's dial. a four. Yep. yep, so five feet away from him going straight south. If he wants to swing at me, he is allowed. Um, he will, because why wouldn't he? And that's a that's a mighty 
That's a mighty five. He missed! Does, does your armor class? Okay. You don't have a negative armor class. Do you? Right. You may have a negative armor class. What's your dexterity just now? My dexterity is only slightly better, which is a 10. <laughs> okay. So not a negative armor class. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you pointed up, and he kind of looked up and looked at you, and where are you going? Yeah, I 100% uh, yeah. appreciate that. Uh, also, Ravens, they get a swing at me as I go kitty corner, continuing <laughs> south. There? Kitty corner south. No, other kitty corner. No, no, we're there. not letting both You're staying engaged with him. Okay. Yes! <laughs> Batting his hands down and around as you're going around. Yep. Uh, they also roll a, a mighty two. Woo! All right. The plan is perfectly coming together. All right. So continuing to point the whole time as I'm walking away. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, 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 don't look at me. Look up the there. eyeless birds swarm up a little bit. Yes. <laughs> Casting uh, at level four because it's a level four spell. Gravity sinkhole and about Ooh, yes. 15 feet off the ground directly above the ravens. Everything within... 20 foot radius is attracted to that spot uh let me look up the spell exactly for the wording uh because there is a save involved but damage is implied obviously yes, we try to hold on to the ground constitution saving throw against my spectacular beefy save of 14. no and no and no? No and no, yes. They did not say There it. should be three no's, because oh, I'm getting oh, all... Oh, oh, and that one too. Again, oh, number three stays on you. Like, he kind of grabs onto you. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. <laughs> ew, 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 ew. All right. So, on a failed save, they are attracted the 15 feet up into the air directly to that spot. And uh, take... 5d10. Yes. It's a level 4 spell. I'm not messing around. <laughs> Alright, uh, so that will be... Oh, oh, good roll. Oh, thank God. There's so many around me. <laughs> Twenty-seven force damage on those two, full on. The other yeah. one doesn't uh, go up in the air and uh, takes half that damage. So that would twenty-seven and half. <sighs> math hard. Reverse math is my worst. Uh, twenty-seven and half. Come on, somebody, somebody smart. Oh, it would be ten. 13. 13. Like 13, yeah. So 13 damage to the one who saved. Okay. And then the two that went straight up into the air. Mm -hmm. uh, which two are, is that the birds and the zombie or are that yep. two zombies? Birds and the zombie. Yeah. Okay, so you tell me how it affects the birds, but I'm pretty sure the zombie takes another D6 uh, of fall damage. Uh, they don't even make it that far. Oh, uh, perfect. Up. <laughs> and, I mean... They fall. Yeah, but it's good. But it's this limp life is by raining dead, rotted bird carcasses. And a, and a bog zombie that's just scrunched up into tiny, your bones crunching and everything as they just shh, and then shh, lands on the ground. Uh, the other bog zombie's still up? Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm just going to look at him like, like, oh. Kind of pulled, like it's missing some ribs Ripping, and bits and yeah. pieces of it, kind of ripped <laughs> off of it. Oh, that's crappy that you survived that. It's it was it was raining men for a second there. Um, <laughs> well, I can't get far enough that this is going to matter. So here we are. Let's dance. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, ins have my uh, familiar uh, head forty feet towards uh, Midnight's body. And that is my turn. Sorry to drag that out so long. <laughs> All right.
Gossy, you were up. All right. Um, I'm going to um, call lightning over here. Okay. So those two need to roll. Okay. Uh, so you're safe. Be at 14. Uh, one, does, one does not. I say two does, one does, but two does not. Uh, one has 16 damage. And the other one has 7 damage. Okay. And then can I have my imp? Yep. Fly over and bite this swarm. Yep. Slashing, biting, tearing through them. Okay. Um, Eleven. Take it. Yep. Uh, just barely missed. Yep. Has them thoroughly distracted. Oh. Um. Right. Can you tilt the camera up? I'm, I, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. No, I want this to happen so badly. So I just am looking. Who were sh who are you attacking, Gassi? She's doing lightning on these two, and then when you in and created the call targets. lightning, it's a cylinder sixty, uh, like uh, it's five feet. 60, 60 feet. No, sixty feet wide. I think it's a radius. You pick a point, and anything in that thing. Is where you can actually call the lightning down. It's ten feet tall with sixty foot wide. Well, is the whole area that you well, can choose to affect. It says you could have definitely got it in the area of all of them. Let's be honest, but I just it says each it. creature within five feet of that point. If you're doing call lightning, yeah, it creates a zone that you can call mm -hmm. down that lightning. So when you first cast the spell, it makes that zone. So it has to be a 60-foot radius zone. I oh. think she, I think she I, was over there when she cast it, though. It says Well, that, that's not the problem. You have a 120-foot yeah. range on where you yeah. cast it, but it makes right. a certain zone. So I just was, just to be fair, making sure those zombies were within the zone where it was focused oh, on. Oh, yeah, so you call yeah. the eye of the zone, and you can call the lightning down anywhere within that zone. Yeah. yeah. Yep. It yeah. basically makes an or area of effect that you can call it down anywhere in that area of effect. That's all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're good. Okay. Just making sure. Okay. That's why I was looking at the angle because, like, I have that spell too, and I was like, oh no, you know. <laughs> I don't mean to be a rule lawyer. It's the DM nope. and me, and just yell at me if I do it too much. <laughs> no. <laughs> These are all new things, all new spells for me, so. Okay. Lightning, lightning. Yeah. Focus on the island. I'll be out uh, of there. Uh, uh, let's see. Yep, nope, just going to continue with this. Uh, it is now. Maple, your turn. Cool, 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 cool. Um, Maple is going to continue toward that body, hopefully getting up there. Um... Just running away from these ravens, and also I, I there, I have a thing that I forgot about. Um, my familiar has a distracting aroma. Oh yes. So, <laughs> um, anything within five feet of that familiar that's attacking, 
gets disadvantage. Hey. Oh, yes. Good to know. And it's in your pocket. <laughs> it's in my pocket, and I have not been realizing that the entire time. If you do, you want to dash five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. It gets you about here. Yeah. All right. Dashing up. Uh, opportunity attack by the rivers with disadvantage because they right. don't know what to focus on. They miss horribly. Cool. There's an imp throwing through them. They smell gingerbread. It's just too much for their little undead <laughs> brains to handle. Um, yeah. Uh, Gossi, as you, excuse me, Maple, as you rush up, mm -hmm. you notice uh, the, so the, this white marble fluted columns here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And was that me taking the dash action? Yes, dash as an action. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's your monk. The flaring, fluting columns of white marble that are surrounded those four columns around this mm -hmm. white altar uh, with their decorative stone carvings of delicate flowering vines uh, is very clearly... Uh, uh, you and I talked... Uh, Mabel has at least a passing interest in architecture. <laughs> Uh, if that's still true, but uh, uh, very clearly yes. a southern style of architecture not customarily found in these northern climes. Huh. Did I? Uh, I don't know. The body on the altar is twisted, painful looking even in death. In her hands, in her hands is clutched a small, delicate box of silver and onyx. Okay. I can't grab that as a bonus action. As a free action, you can try to grab it, yes. Cool. This is a terrible idea. I'm going to try and grab. She's there. Yeah. Maple's going to try and grab that box. As you grab that box. Yeah. This is, this is the story of how I die. <laughs> As you grab the box. Is there a table for this? <laughs> <laughs> there should be, but... I suddenly feel happy not being on the island, I feel like. <laughs> As you grab the box, your hands go through the box. Ooh. And you kind of claw it, and your hands go through the body. It goes through the altar. And you can see through. You can see the column, but it's, it's just translucent. It's not there. So do I get the feeling that this is like an illusion? This would appear to be another illusion. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. This is not the body, guys. It's not really here. Uh, ravens are still... They're gone. He's gone. Uh, Gossi. Uh, armor class again, please. 13. 13. Uh, they do hit. For six points of damage. They're not within... Oh. She's not within five feet of me, is she? No. Okay. No. Okay. Darn. Ooh, natural one. Ooh. Ooh. All lightning dissipates. Are right, fighting with the imp. Uh, imp's armor class, please. Never mind. Thirteen. Thirteen. Horrible. Way too fast for them. Uh, top of the order. Keeper. Oh, zombies. Oh. Sorry. Zombies. He's still trying to swing at you. Getting your arm up and bite at you. Oh. Uh... Zombies are supposed to be after me, I think. I could be uh, wrong. Zombies are supposed to be bottom of the initiative. Oh, okay, yep. Fair. Yep, hit okay, me. Come. Hit me. <laughs> yeah, he hit you. Yeah, I bet he did. Uh, four points of damage. Once again. 
Rude. Uh, these continue to move into the water. And they disappear as they go under. Uh, keeper. Uh, constitution saving throw from the uh, zombie directly in front of me. No, that's fine. I know where I am. Uh, I'm basically just going to be walking away from him as I cast minor lifesteal. Okay. Uh, constitution save. What DC does need to hit? 14. I rolled a natural 15. So nothing happens. He gets an opportunity attack. No. Yep. So 30 30 feet. Yep. Uh, And then... uh, Where is the thing? Where is the thing? What are you looking for? The thing. Oh. <laughs> the body. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, that's not a bonus action. Okay. So as a continued uh, 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 ember is going to fly straight 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, he can totally get invisibly to Midnight's body. And he's going to start checking Ember's pocket, seeing if uh, that recipe was written down or something. Sure. Or recipe written down or a healing potion. Yeah. Uh, Roll me an investigation check on behalf of Ember. Uh, Ember. It's not a negative, at least. Okay. Okay. That's, that's, that's. That's not bad. It's not bad. Fourteen. Fourteen. There are uh, a couple of daggers, uh, but there's right. There was something in the pouch, but it's just in this melted, congealed mess. It's hard to tell what it was. I don't know. Like literally, don't know if it was already powder before it kind of <laughs> half set on fire, half melted. Yeah, fair, 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 fair. No idea. Uh, so nothing. Uh, resembling anything useful beyond uh, hot daggers. Correct. Fair. Uh, did I have any movement left? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 10. I think I was at 30 feet. So if yeah. I can do 10 more feet straight across going to the other body of the cultist. Uh, no, oh, with okay. Ember. With Ember. Oh, yes. Uh, yep. Yeah, going, just hopping to the other body. Yep. I don't have any uh investigation left to do this round but sure next time so two rounds right. since death fair to know gossy you you see mabel come up and reach to, to dislodge or shove or grab the that the, what you thought was the phylactery silver and filigree on ice her hand goes through it. And her hands goes through the right, grass again, and the hand goes through the body. Hand goes through the altar, and like you make the connection as well, and you see this is this is illusory. And at that moment, because I didn't roll concentration check for the damage, that four damage I took from the zombie, I rolled a natural two. So you fall <laughs> and land on your feet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, fly ended. Yeah. All right. Um, then I'm going to fling an Eldritch Orb at the, the uh, raven there. So from the hallowed eyes of death. So. Uh, is it just a ranged attack roll? Yep. Okay. Range spell attack. Ten. Ten does not. 
dodging and scrolling just to. Yep. Um, this one. No. Oh, yep. Okay. One more. Yep. Maple, your turn. Hey, what do I what do I do, friends? <laughs> um. So there, there actually is the, the plinth here. There's just nothing on it. There's no plinth either. It's There's grassy. no plinth. It's grassy. It's a grassy she flat can space see on top it of as a hologram. You can see through it. As right. A, okay. Yeah. So there's literally nothing here. Um, in in that case, she's gonna go rifle through that the cultist's stuff. Hey. Like hey. one of, one of these guys has to have something. Hey. <sighs> Uh, a sword, like a like a kind of a cutlassy, slashy sword. Not super well made. Really crappy clothing. Um, handful of coins. I'm gonna pocket kind of those. Weird black amulet with a kind of a half moon and a feather and uh, uh, kind of a tarnished looking. It does not look fancy. Okay. Uh, does it feel, uh, does it feel magical at all? It doesn't, right? If it is, it's pretty crappy magic. It's pretty crappy looking. Okay. It looks like there's something. Okay. I'm going to, um. It's not bright and shiny and glowing and, like, yeah. it, it may be magical, but at first glance, it's just a, it's kind of some sort of weird culty okay. symbol. Um, I'm going to attempt, I'm going to use my, wait, did I use my action to rifle through that stuff? Yeah. Okay, okay. Then I don't have a hex left, so I'm just going to hang on to this amulet. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> it's just, they're very confused. Zombie actually just starts moving off into the woods. <laughs> Sorry, he needs to be moving off into the woods. Just shambling away. Rude. These are still fighting with the imp. The imp is just slowly but surely taking one down at a time, biting its heads off. I was just going to say, is he grabbing him like Ozzy Osbourne and yeah. <laughs> yeah, just every, just kind of chewing away at them one at a time, slashing another one, breaking it. My little fiend is, is slowly whittling away at these at what remains. We are out of combat. All right. Okay. Um, I'd like to, if we can, try to keep initiative still. Sure. Yep. For my I'll own purposes. Uh, cantrip firebolt at the rude zombie who doesn't care about me. Yep. Roll and check roll. <laughs> He's like, wait, I have to do something. Uh, 18 plus. Yes. <laughs> Roll me some damage, please. Uh, so that's 2d10 for uh, my level. Uh, that will be 15 fire damage. Ooh. <laughs> it's a kind of, right, like kind of a tar-like substance of the bog zombie. Like pitch, kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of just like smolders for a little and then kind of takes a few more steps into the bracken and just kind of collapses into the bracken as the bracken starts on fire. Perfect. Forest fires release lots of nutrients. 30 mm -hmm. feet towards the bridge. Uh, I'm going to shout across. Has... Seeing as everyone was so quick to kill people instead of talking, has anyone thought of bringing back Midnight so we can ask some questions? Heading no. that way. No, I didn't. Uh, well, think about it now. Um, let me look and see. I've got a spell called Flawed Reconstruction, and I don't know that it requires them to be alive. But let me look here. As you're considering, uh, Gossie, do you have anything that you're 
Well, I was going to head over to the tree or bush or whatever it is and look in there. This tree? Yes. Okay. There? Mm-hmm. Roll me the investigation. Hmm. Six. It's, it's a bush, it's a tree. Do you have nature? the bush and the tree. Gossie, you're, or Mabel, you're going through your racking your memory. What else can we do? Yeah. Paper, I, Alistair, you are on I'm the a, bridge. I'm on my way. On your way. Um, Flood reconstruction, I, it reads like it does require them to be alive still, so that will not work for bringing someone back. Um, but can I try and turn this amulet into, um, cake? Sure. Little snack as you're searching memory. Yeah, the, it, so does it, 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 it only works if it's not uh, magical. Yes, it is now a cake of some kind. Whatever I'm going to eat it. Yeah, it's, kind of, um, it's chocolate, so I'm just going to pop some nice. chocolate yep. cake in my mouth. Some morsel. A little morsel. It doesn't heal me, but it sure tastes good. <laughs> okay. So everybody, you kind of split up on top of the island here. You're looking. Yeah. We're going to look around Mists roll here. in. Hmm. Something's happening. It's nearing dusk when you arrive, worn and exhausted. Barely tracking the flickering, lonesome campfire on the eastern ridge overlooking a small, dark valley already in shadow. The weary forest of old, overgrown trees and tangled, thorny brambles choking the valley below is eerily silent in the oppressive muggy heat. The light of the sun blazes scarlet behind swirling storm clouds as it sinks below the western lip of the valley, raging but impotent the whole of the storm of the night and day. Thunder rumbles across the hills so close it feels like there's rat in you arrive singly but nearly simultaneously at the small campfire. Each of you immediately recognizes the aged crone sitting on their stool at the fire. A battered Ugh. copper tea kettle swung out over the fire, already hissing team. Steam. She goes by the name of Agni Death Thistle, great granddaughter of the legendary tragedy Death Thistle. She beckons you closer without looking up, her roomy eyes staring somberly into the fire. She turns what appears to be a small, ornately carved wood hourglass over the dark sand spilling steadily into the Come closer, children. I will. I thought there would be more of you, but as may be, perhaps shall be enough, and time enough as needed in these old times. Do, do, this already happened. Yes. Do we remember that this already happened? You do not. Okay. okay. Keeper. Um, you tell me what this means now. Because I rolled immediately as you were talking and speaking this for Alistair. I rolled an 18 plus. So Alistair is at the wheel for a second. Because I immediately got that vibe. So you tell me if he can speak for a hot second. Otherwise, yes. I'm going to not say a word. Alistair, you have the wheel. He steps forward. Listen, witch. I'm sick of the games. You can tell me what I need to know to get out of this and kill everyone I need. I like him. I do not. He's spicy. Would you like a cup of tea? Am I still? Is that still? Oh, that's where we're <laughs> You are all caught in a grand hex. <laughs> By the way, mm -hmm. did Midnight roll her death saves? Because I was coming. <laughs> I don't know. That was up. That was this, is, this is going to be... Yeah. Oh my God. A we tough week at our house. Yay! Oh. Why me? Why me? Yeah. This is so fun. <laughs> Specifically, this is the fifth, five hundredth time we've done this. Oh, it's not even a grand hex. It is a. 
It's a dark ritual. Oh. <laughs> temporal loop. Dark ritual transmutation. Hey, are we all like long rested when we walk yeah. back in? Yeah. Well, you're you're ex exhausted from your travels as you were before. But, but I remain. still have. Do I have my hit points back? Yeah, you have everything back. Everything's back. Oh my goodness! I didn't die. But we don't remember anything. We remember why. Except for Alistair. The oh. keeper does oh. not. Oh. Alistair remembers. But not the keeper. But not the keeper. Oh. oh, okay. Just for me for next time, next week, at seven central. Yes. Central. We will be doing still at the wheel. Next week, next Friday at seven central. We are stepping back in time. Your first level cell. Oh, boo! Hey. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I want all the cosmic power! I know! <laughs> I get to try Easy. many of my spells. Yeah, I know. I, I did a few buffing things and then just kind of laid back in the grass, <laughs> just trying to be smart and help everybody. Because I just did cantrips. Like, <laughs> the whole time. I counterspell the cantrip. I counterspelled. <laughs> it worked, though. It worked. It worked. It, it was looked a like 20, which was major good. damage yes. on. Yes. Where the tall lightning put really lightning. close to true death. So, yes. Oh, yeah. Tall yeah. Yeah. lightning is an amazing <laughs> spell. I love it so much. Which I am not way. saying that we can't come back to this. You are caught in a temporal loop. We may try again another time, but next Friday. Oh, yes. I'm not going to lie, Chris, I love this game already so much, and I felt like as the game went on, everyone was starting to figure out their characters just yeah. a little bit more. I know I did. I didn't yes. think they were going to be funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I thought they were going to be all serious and like all... This kind uh, of dry fire. humor over the ages has come across here, yes. unusually enough, yes. Yeah, and different You're possessed, hosts, you know. <laughs> You're possessed, um, burned... Yes. Until, like, this is one I'm a fan of where it's like, yes. uh, until we get there, every time we have an off game, this is the one we need to do. Uh, like, <laughs> because this is fun. I'm down. These like, characters... Not to say a honey heist isn't fun, yes. but I felt like it was a lot more on on task. I felt like <laughs> we were so less chaotic than that. <laughs> I don't know if I was not chaotic. I think I was pretty chaotic. <laughs> You were chaotic on purpose. With a focus. Yeah. <laughs> I do have a couple thank yous that I have to go today. So, uh, thank you to Scald, who spent over an hour with me trying to get this set up, figured out, because we this is right again. Uh, lots of music it did quite get there where I wanted it to be, but Scald kept me sane and we, we found out a lot of things that was not the problem. So right. That's that's a big part of children. But thank you, Scald, for that was a huge help. And I uh, just really, uh, oh, thank you. We, we paid for it, right? But uh, to Mage Hand Press for that, the uh, Complete Witch definitive yes. class. Definitive. Oh, the definitive version. So cool. So this awesome. Is an extremely complex, as right, as I'm oh, yeah. doing, yes, trying, right, you're going up against other witches, and you've got the witches themselves, you've got familiars, you've got, mm -hmm. right, for the black arts anyway, the black crafts, undead. Yeah. You've got the and dark, the hexes, the the great hexes, the dark rituals. Like this is a and even awesome. the familiars and things like that yeah. don't operate the way they do for normal PC characters. Yeah, mm -mm. like they're different. And, and it's your, awesome. Your flight, uh, Stacy, I know has a had a like one of her hexes is like, this light step. She didn't even get a chance to use that because you two flight on her right away. Which ah. is I was trying to help her yes, out. Yes, we tried to help. You got her, but you got her to where she That's needed good. to be. But otherwise, she right. There's all these different crafts of all these different little messes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Super yeah, fun. That, that was a lot of fun. I and that's the thing where it's like, as much as I understand, like we're going to be doing different things, and I'm excited about that, Chris. I really am. Uh, I. You I want another like shot at it. The, I, get it. I want yeah. the, this dy this dynamic to, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I think it's so interesting that there, it just, 
there's so much yet to be developed because oh yeah it's it's so different than any uh, other things that we've that i played it's not a normal adventuring party no um, it didn't even feel that way which was i don't know about anybody else it felt awkward at the beginning because there's a part of me that's like I'm aligned with these people for now, but there is no loyalty here. Yes, I agree. And yeah. so it's like, how much do I want to really be friends? Yeah. You know? I felt, well, I felt yes. like it was largely kind of out for myself. Until with, the fight happened. Like, yeah. And then it was like, all right, we're in this together. You know? <laughs> yep. But then also, you know, we know that not, you are yeah. not, not player you're you're trying to do something you don't else know, are your <laughs> you've got that. some other you motivations maple doesn't care <laughs> maple doesn't care probably notices yes. it just care. right <laughs> Yeah. Uh, right, your there's a gingerbread very... cookie in your pocket. Yes. Just like, mm -hmm. watch him. <laughs> yes, that's a problem. I'm so mad. I forgot about that distracting aroma. I could have been disadvantaged the whole that, time. That would have been a miss me. Yes. You got so, hit a lot. Yeah. <laughs> that might have saved me like half of my life. Yeah. <laughs> like, was... yeah. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you for everybody for yeah. watching. Thank you, future people, as uh, to steal Scott's line as as yeah. the. Uh, <laughs> Person in the seat here. Thank you, Scott and Stacy and, and Catherine for playing. This was a blast. Uh, I know Mick really wanted to play. I know Killian really want to play. So uh, I do hope we'll be able to get everybody together. Yeah. Crack at this one. Or we can save this for us. <laughs> <laughs> this is my. <laughs> Thank you, Chris, for for yeah. narrating this adventure and thank you for playing the game. So and fun. creating the map and yeah. just getting all just these. Bringing this. To, to our us. attention, yeah. into our, our orbit. Mm -hmm. This is an awesome game. Yeah. The witch, yes. The, the witch, witch, witch. Which which woman? Which witch? Yes. Which one? Yes. Yes. Which, which woman? <laughs> which witch? <laughs> All right. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, everyone. Have a great night. Do this Bye. without breaking it. <laughs> nope. Upper salon. We'll just wave until we're da, 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 da. <laughs> So long, farewell. What? That's all I'm gonna say. Because it's licensed property. <laughs>